friends welcome on your pedia and my this video is the first video in the series of couple of videos i'll make uh, about why phd abroad why not in india why i say so uh, 2011 friends i sent some 20 30 students to iit kanpur for direct phd uh, immediately after btech i was teaching in one of the universities in punjab and students got motivated i was phd and i taught in iit system that time and i got it from there and you know i was having research inclination and i started mentoring students to go for phd abroad they went to iit kanpur and all these places and then they started sharing their experiences with me now after so many years that is 10 more than 10 years back after so many years i do the analysis and now i have started mentoring students for phd abroad there are many reasons for that it is not nothing against iit system nothing against indian university system but yes as a mentor it is my duty to tell you very very honestly and very very uh, frankly the difference between you know opportunities which you get in indian universities and abroad my first video is you know should we go for phd in india or abroad and my answer is if you get the opportunity then abroad and i have reasons for that you know first reason is the exposure which you get nobody can deny that i have told you many times friends that phd's i mean the kind of professor we have in india wonderful and i will also tell you little later i mean in one of the videos that once you do phd from abroad should you stay abroad or not that is your decision i have come back i myself come back from us we were there me and my wife and we have come back so that is your decision nobody can interfere in that no mentor can guide you that nobody can you know tell you that that is your decision and i am happy that many people like me or my friends who are presently professors in it system they decided to come back home and whatever they learned there they go every year they go abroad they get the learning there as mahatma gandhi the father of nation said let the good things come from all sides to our land let the good things flow here so similarly good ideas will come if you go there so learning in those countries in the form of your higher education courses and then serving back to the society something which is very good but that is your decision now why phd abroad this video first sequel is that why i strongly support that and why i am saying now go there and learn it one of the reasons is like when you go for this kind of arduous course which spans more than 4 years you cannot be financially you know in deep, uh, uh, dependent upon anybody you should not be sometimes you have families you know i know people who go for phd at mid 20s 20 late 20s in 30s they have family you know so they cannot survive on 30000 rupees scholarship obviously one of the reasons second you know uh, exposure which you get in the phd it is not that research paper you will study and experiment you will do in the lab and you will publish the paper that is all about phd no phd should be overall transformation of your personality you should mix with people from different communities because eventually you are going to participate in international conference you need to meet with the people of different countries so that has to be uh, you know that that should be there so uh, keeping that thing in mind the kind of international exposure which you get in top global institute you may not get in india because in india you will get the people around different states maybe in iits but not from different nationality that is one of the reasons uh, why phd abroad second finance i told you that is one of the reasons third you know the value of the course which you get the value of the phd which you get the value even indian system iit system when they recruit a teacher the professor i know many of the directors of iit who in the summer go and hunt a professor in united states of america or europe they are hunting professor for their iits going in different part of the world uh, again nothing against phd from india i mean i got into iit as a teacher uh, after i got phd from iit delhi so nothing against that i mean capable people can be here also but as of now i'm telling you that is the fact i mean whenever some iit gets foreign educated uh, teacher i mean whose qs ranking is better than iit is obviously then they will take them as a teacher so if you want to serve as a faculty in iit system go get phd from abroad that is valued more by iits themselves so iits will value the phd of top global institutes more than the phd of their own system so that is another reason why abroad 
and last but not least the kind of opportunities we know that in india if you do phd then 80 percent of the chances you will land up in academics 20 percent maybe in industries and very less in entrepreneurial opportunities but in top global institutes when i meet people i find that uh, a more than 80 percent land up in top um, multinational companies corporate jobs and then you know some academics and many of them go for entrepreneurship so kind of diversity in the job opportunities or career opportunities after phd friends these are some of the reasons i was going through one of the articles which i got uh, somebody has written wonderful points one two three points he has written maybe if you can stop your video and you can go through this document i found this is one of the wonderful document stop your video and you can read this document and i totally agree with whatever is written here uh, why phd from uh, you know uh, abroad and uh, these points i totally agree and i believe that this should be eye opener for many of you who are thinking to pursue their phd uh, and you know phd from uh, india or phd from abroad so with this i friend uh, my first this video is over for uh, why phd from abroad i'll come back again and make the second sequel telling you some more things about phd abroad thank you